It's your boy, Big Brother Bruce, and today we are back with another review. The last video I did was a $50 survival kit build that you can build to help you get through a, you know, a down power situation or be a loss. Well, I went on Amazon and I ordered a kit. I don't know how many pieces it had in it, but it's a little kit. It's supposed to come in a waterproof container and all this shit. And then we're gonna crack into it and see what we get here. $34, by the way, Canadian. Because I am from Ontario, but I don't want to say the city. So in this kit, I'm supposedly supposed to get a pocket knife. So I see some instructions. Basically, uh, you know, it's, it's a folding knife, so who the fuck needs instructions, but I guess you do. But there they are. So let's see what this entails. This is a nice little box. But this is, damn, this is smaller than I thought it was going to be. But that's all right. Look at the size of this kit. It literally might be seven inches. Pretty hard plastic. They claim that it's waterproof and everything. And it comes with, okay, this is cool. It comes with two paracord bracelets. One black, <clears throat> one green, army green. And the paracord, I think if I... Not correct. It's I think there's 10 feet, 10 or 20 feet of paracord here to use. And if you don't know the different things you can use paracord for, you should look it up. It's an amazing thing to have. Uh, it also these also come with compasses on them, so you can't get lost. And a whistle. So if you're lost on a trail and you need to make noise and somebody needs to find you, that's cool. And a fire starter, flint. You know, that's really cool. So you can have all that on your wrist while, you know, hiking or doing whatever you got to do. They give you two of them. So that's cool. That's, that's, that's already making me happy as fuck. I like that. I like that. You can do all kinds of shit with a paracord. You can make a ridge line to set up, you know, a tarp for some shelter. You can make it to hold things, carry things, make your own you know, containers out of shit using paracord to be a strap of some sort. You can use paracord to tie off an open wound if you're bleeding. So that's cool. I like that. You got two colors to choose from. Pretty cool shit. Now let's see what's in the box. Ooh, this looks like they're gonna be hard to open. Okay. Some tabs. Ooh, but today's all about survival, people. So let's see what we got in here. Okay, I see some foam, that's nice, but already. <clears throat> emergency blanket in a bag. One of those foil blankets help you keep the heat in. This is a uh, really good to, item to have. Uh, if you're ever lost, stranded, or even if you're just homeless, you know what I mean, for a night or two. This will keep you warm. This will keep all your body heat in. It's an actual blanket. Um, I think it's just one though. It looks like there's a couple in here. I don't know if there's a couple here. I don't want to pull it all the way out if just in case it is only just one, but let's, let's see. Oh no, it looks like there might be a few. Oh shit, I don't, want to, I don't want to fuck it all up. Anyway, that is a blanket in a bag. That's something that's good to have. We have another fire starter. Flint slash waterproof. Well, this has kind of like a ruler on it. If you had to do some measurements. You're supposed to, the way, see, when you see me doing them, that's not the right way to light the fire. The way you're supposed to do it is supposed to be doing it on something. Like, say this was like my Kindle or whatever. You put it on it, and then you rain the fire, the sparks down onto it, and it'll start to fire. That's how it's supposed to work. But you get, that's nice. That looks like that'd be a bottle cap opener too. Maybe a can opener as well. Pretty cool. So far, so good. I like the blankets. I like the paracord braces a lot. What else do we got here? We got a mini light. Goes on your keychain. Right? I don't. This is pretty cool too because it's pocket size. But can you change the battery when the battery dies? I don't know. But hey, little pocket, a little pocket uh, flashlight. You need some room. Pretty cool. This is a whistle. One of those whistles if you're lost, like I said, on a hiking trail. You want somebody to find you? I hurt my ear doing that shit. You want somebody to find you? Little whistle, little kit. Oh, look at this. Didn't I do a review on one of these? This one's different though. But a tactical pen, 
okay like that it's not real tree but it looks like the real tree but it's not because this one actually has the tungsten tip that's the glass breaking tip now that real tree one i bought for 11 dollars on amazon did not have that that's why it's so hard to bust that little shitty glass but this little tungsten tip will bust the glass so let's see if it opens oh my god and it will open right at the writing pin so you get a tactical pin in that box that's pretty cool already that's nice that's a nice little pin okay we got a tactical pin i like that let's check the knife out so a little pocket folding knife it's little okay it's legal that's not bad i went not making my everyday carry but again this is a survival kit that's something that you're small enough that would fit in your truck or car if you're driving around or if you're a hiker in your backpack you know what i mean this is nice though you could use this definitely use it if you need it to cut cord cut branches small twigs and leaves and shit you know fillet a fish if you don't have a filleting knife you know what i'm saying cut up a small animal if you need to eat nice little pocket knife okay you got some carabiners there these ones look like they're locked too that's pretty cool oh and they lock so that's a strong little carabiner these are good little items to have especially when you have paracord to use common little uses two of those you get a flashlight in the kit a tactical flashlight look how small that is why is it a tactical flashlight why is it just a regular flashlight what makes it tactical is this uh, there's an actual name for this part of the flashlight i'm not that deep into the shit i don't know what it's called for those who you do please leave it in the comments but this is what makes it tactical because you can take this right use it as a flashlight it has a bright function low function and your strobe function what makes it the tactical is this right here is what you would jam self-defense into somebody's fucking face or on top of their head and that would definitely make them get up off you and back them the fuck up for sure for sure so this is nice nice little flat and it's nice and little too it comes with a little clip clip in your pocket you know what i'm saying walk around not a lot of room like i like <clears throat> Like I said, when I did that review, the key smart, this, my everyday carry, you know, knife that I did the review on. This is doesn't take up much room in my fucking pocket if I needed this stuff. So that's nice. That's a nice little flashlight. <clears throat> you get a compass. Now this is cool too. You know, everybody should be familiar. I'm telling you now, people, this is nice too. And you know what it said about this? They said if I put this in the sun, that this bezel will glow in the dark. So if I needed to use my compass at night, this part will glow in the dark to let me know. This is an art form and a way of learning and navigating that people have lost. This was a skill that we've had all the way up to maybe like literally 50, 60 years ago. Maybe even sooner, maybe 30 years. We used to rely on these things to navigate, man. And then all of a sudden, here comes technology with these digital GPS's, <clears throat> with the shit in your phone giving you directions and shit like that. Now what happens if something happens to technology and there's no more technology? The grid goes down forever, I don't know, anything can happen. Solar flare, wipes everything out as far as, you know, telecommunications go, GPS's go. How are you supposed to navigate if you don't know how to use a compass? If you don't know your north, west, east, south, you know what I mean? If you don't know it, how, do you, how are you supposed to do it? This is pretty nice too, and it's nice the fact that it will glow in the dark. I like that, man. I really do like that. I like that a lot. It'll even give you the degrees, you know? That's true north. They give you the degrees. This is really cool, man. This is a good little little compass. That's nice. And it's, you know, I don't know about the whole trying to be like a pocket thing, but I would carry this around if I was fucking. I would. This is nice. And. Finally, but not last but not least, another one of those cards. Those little, this is hard steel again. We did a review on two of them now. The pot the wallet ninja, the one from the dollar store. This one's actually smaller. This one actually has a sharp edge on it. Like an actual knife cutting edge. That's sharp, that'll cut you. Serrated direction location finder, your torque wrenches, bottle cap opener lanyard hole supposedly this is not a card holder one though so you couldn't stick a card through this to hold this 
I'm showing you verse the seven. A butterfly wrench. So this is cool, man. This is actually a nice, now look, this whole kit, all that shit that was in this kit, paracord, everything, all this. One, and, and you gotta remember the kit, this, this itself is waterproof, okay? It's waterproof and it's durable, hard little plastic. If you didn't wanna carry all this stuff, say there was stuff you didn't need, you could still use this to carry items in and keep them from getting wet if you were canoeing or, or things like that. So all this for 34 bucks, I say is 100% worth it for sure. Definitely. In a survival situation, I know I wanna survive, I don't know about y'all, but I do. And, and this is nice, I, I enjoy this. I think this is a good little kit for that price on Amazon. It was an Amazon choice. <clears throat> um, they had other ones that were more money came with similar shit but uh for the price yeah you can't go wrong man you cannot go wrong like i said the 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 this, you know, this is a good little item to have a, a, a bed in the bag a blanket in the bag type of thing emergency blanket get pocket knife fire starter flashlight whistle mini flashlight compass man two pair cord bracelets and a tactical pin with the tungsten tip, busted tip. Oh yeah, definitely. Man. So for that, I would buy it. For those of you who are interested in that kind of shit, go on to Amazon. I never put the links to all the shit that I buy in none of my videos. I did. I gotta start doing that. I don't know if I'm gonna start today, but I'll start one of these days. And with that being said, go on your Amazon if you're into camping. This isn't just necessarily in the world shit either. This is a good little camping kit. If you went camping, you know, took in your family. And, and I really believe men and women, you should be teaching, you should pick up these skills again. Learn how to navigate a compass. Learn how to navigate the stars. Learn what kind of foods and plants and shit you can eat, you can see and recognize and spot. Learn these things. Teach them to your kids. Learn how to hunt. Learn how to fish. Learn what's edible. Learn how to make a fire. You know what I mean? Learn how to use one of these things, man. I, I really believe that it was, comes in handy, you know, and teach your kids so they don't fucking forget it. You want them to be reliant on technology all the goddamn time? You know, nowadays it reminds me of like that movie, that Disney movie, Wally, -E, where all the humans were just fat, sitting in those fucking chairs all day watching TV and then all the robots did everything for them. Like don't, you don't want that. You, wanna, you don't want to forget these things. This shit is important. It was important for thousands of years up to fucking 30 years ago. So, let's go people. Definitely get into it. Big Brother Brucey, WMAS. Check me for me next time. I don't know what we're doing next. I'm waiting on a watch, tactical watch, and I'm waiting on the world's smallest lighter. I'm all about saving space in your pocket and carrying as much shit as possible. Big Brother Bruce signing out, WMAS Media.